gonna talk about my dream today. Pablo Picasso said, everything you can imagine is real. But there were some people who never believed in this quote. They imagined everything to cover up their sadness. They imagined a place without darkness and where the light can shine through their soul. They imagined happiness to blend out their wounded heart. But everything they could imagine weren't real. And I was one of them. I was only 12 years old when depression knocked on my door. My parents were always busy and they often didn't come home. I was only 12 years old. Parents aren't home. I didn't know how to cook. I would always starve myself. I didn't know how to take care of myself. And whenever they were home, they were always fighting. And their fighting got so intense that I always had to call the cops to stop them. The fighting didn't stop even when I turned 13. But it wasn't just about that. Something else happened and it was adding up more and my depression got even worse. I was bullied at school because I had a girlfriend. My classmates would put trash into my locker. They would write down swear words on my desk. They would look at me like I'm a freak. And I started to think that it's wrong to be in love with the falling out of Falling in love with the girl, I started to meet all these guys, and they sexually abused me. And all these happenings gave me this one dream, death. All I could think of was to kill myself. I cut myself, I hang myself up, I took a bunch of pills at one time. There was no hope, no one was there for me. No one was helping me. No one was asking me if I'm okay. I went to go see the doctor. I took medication, but it never worked. It never helped me. But one day, I was on the internet, and I saw this one photograph, and it made my heart vibrate. It was so pure and innocent, I felt like the, the wind was whispering to me, saying, it's okay, it's all right, you're not alone. This picture saved my life. It was taken by photographer Ralph Gibson. When I was standing at the edge of a cliff, this picture held me and told me that, come back to happiness and now go do the same thing what I did to you. When I moved to Hawaii, when I moved to Hawaii, I started to take pictures. Well, even before, I was still taking pictures. But when I moved to Hawaii, I started to take more pictures. And I stepped out more. And I realized the smiles on people's face. I realized the beauty of lights. But one day, I was in class, and I was bored. I started to draw my math teacher. And I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. I kept on drawing. And I found out that there's more art out there, not just about photography. These are the pictures that I took when I first to take pictures. And these are the drawings that I did when I first found out about art, different kinds of art. After drawing, keep on drawing and drawing and taking more pictures, I approached more art. I started to write. I started to find out about filming. I started to find out how to make music, how wonderful the music can be, and how the art can cooperate each other. And it's so, it's, there's a connection between. The light, I felt like the hope was shining towards me. I found love inside of art and it saved my life. These are the photography, the recent artwork that I have.
I kept on drawing and I got into several art competitions and I'm not stop I'm not stopping taking pictures or drawing or filming or writing. I know that there are so many people out there who went through the same thing as I did or even worse than that. And I know with art, I can help them because that's what art did to me. It saved my life. It gave me hopes and dreams. And I want to do the same thing what it did to me. I want to help people. I want to influence people. I want to build a school that I can collect all the talented people who thinks who knows that they're talented, but they don't have supports to become a great artist or people who doesn't know that they're talented. I want to help them and help them to grow up to be, grow up to big artists so I can spread out more art to this world because art can change the world. Art is like a chicken flying thousand miles. Art is legal drug. Art is pineapple. Art is magic. I know that it can change people. When you're running fast, you don't really look around. You might miss out the details. I'm slowly walking, catching up all the details and building up on my own. And I want to get to where I want to go and I want to help people. People looked at me like I'm a freak, but now they look at me as an artist. Nobody was there for me, I had no friends. Now I have people who are supporting me, especially my family, Mr. Prado, Mrs. Donathan, Monica, Chris, and Dylan. <laughs> I wanted to die, now I want to live. Art changed my life, and I know that I can change other people's life with art. Everything I can imagine is real, and everything you can imagine is real. Thank you.